the road to Rio is well underway, and the Olympians and Olympic hopefuls here at the University of Florida have been putting in the hours in the pool and the weight room for quite some time. In fact, after the NCAA championships in April, some of the current swimmers turned their attention to their Olympic dreams and started training with a group of post-grad athletes to get ready for the big stage. While the collegiate season was underway, there was a handful of former Florida swimmers who still showed up to practice every day, hit the weight room, and trained. It was a group of Gator greats, including Olympians and those hoping to turn their dreams into reality this summer in Rio. It's been awesome. This entire group here, we have an amazing post-grad program. I mean, it's it's one of the best in the world. We have people already going to the Olympics from so many different countries, and it's such a privilege to be able to train with people like that because it reminds you why you're doing it every single day. And they push you, and, and it's fun at the same time. Um, you get to do it with your best friends, and I think that's the one thing that the University of Florida has that not any other school has is that post-grad program and being able to train with other Olympians. And it's, it's something that I'm really, really gonna miss. The current Florida swimmers preparing for trials and Rio have now joined that post-grad group of athletes. Although it may seem similar, training for the Olympics is actually quite different than collegiate training. Some people say, you know, it's a totally different sport because instead of 25 yards, 50 meters, it's a much bigger pool. Um, it, it affects stroke counts, endurance. It's a lot different. Um, it's a little bit different when you're, even when you're talking power in the water just because of the duration with which you have to sustain it before you get to a wall and get to take a little bit of a break from the, the constant uh, stroke cycle. So, you know, there, there's some differences there. In the fall, for instance, is, is kind of where we do our work, and the spring is where it kind of our championship season is where you have to get ready every week and then make sure you're, you're posting good, great times in practice, but also do the right things at, at swim meet. So we're kind of in that time frame now. Um, summer, everything is a little shorter, so we have to shorten up um, the aerobic, aerobic phase of, of the season, which is our summer season, but, uh, and then get into that championship mode a lot, a lot quicker. While some Gators have returned to their home countries to prepare, a number of the swimmers are still here at UF, putting in the hours every day. We're in a regular schedule. We're going about nine practices a week. They, they usually double Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Two hours in the morning, two in the afternoon. Then Tuesday and Thursday, they're going two and a half hours. Um, working more specific things, a lot of strength, uh, technique-oriented issues on Tuesday, Thursday with an idea that we're going to recover a little bit, do our weights on Tuesday, Thursday afternoon, come back again on Wednesday and Friday for another three practice cycle, finished up with a Saturday morning. And the only thing that's a little bit different, we have one pool down, so we're, we're doing, actually it's, it's helping us in some ways because we have some unique practice hours that are actually good relative to Rio, and they're especially good in the same way, have a little more long course water in, in Florida pool. Recently we've like gone up in mileage um, and kilometers, uh, doing a lot, lot more hard work in and out of the pool, uh, weight room. We've gone up in weight as well, so um, we're just grinding at the moment, basically. Everybody's getting focused on it. It gets a little chaotic because everybody's federations have trials at different points, but now we've come to the end of that, and so now everybody's just focused on the one goal, and that's the Olympics. We're working hard in the pool right now, we're working hard in the weight room, so everyone's, uh, they're starting to, it, it's fun because, you know, we have Americans, but we also have internationals as well, and some of those international swimmers have already made their teams, and so as more and more are going to meets and getting picked up by their teams, um, I think the realization that the U.S. trials is coming closer and closer, it's exciting for the Americans and, and the others who are, have yet to uh, go to their trials. As the coaches mentioned, there are a number of international Gators who have already punched their tickets to Rio. And Florida's hoping to add to that list at the USA Trials next week in Omaha. For Gators Olympics coverage all summer long, keep it locked in to FloridaGators.com. For Gator Vision, I'm Shelby Grenath.